today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and also this hairstyle as well. So the hairstyle actually was what I was I was trying to show in another video how to style a frontal wig and then I realized that the look actually reminded me of the whole Instagram body trend which I don't even know who started it but the Kardashians did not create this. It has been here for centuries, for ages, so but somehow it's been called Instagram body. So the Instagram body look is basically the two plaits, the full face, strong brows, a hat, sometimes a bummer jacket, and then T-Rex, T-Rex hand where they do this. Which is I mean I'm I'm so guilty of that, I do it all the time. So um, that's pretty much the Instagram body look. Initially I was only meant to be doing this makeup look but I felt like adding this hairstyle to it and how I did it it's nothing special. I don't even think I gave you a proper tutorial because how do you explain how you do braids? So what they usually have is the defined brow, defined brow, big lashes, lots of mascara, winged line. Usually they don't really have too much going on in their lids but um, this was this look I wanted to incorporate with this, with this hairstyle. It's kind of like a laid back glam. A lot of people were asking for this look and especially this the eye look but I feel like it, I don't know, I don't know if it's, it looks different. Every time I recreate a look it always looks different than the first time I do it which is always so weird. I feel like the eyelids were a lot more like red. They're not coming across as red as I did the first time but it's pretty much the same thing I did. So if you want to see how I got this look keep on watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Face. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer Perfecta. I'm just gonna apply this all over, ooh, all over my face because um, I need it to be matte, basically. Apply to the areas that I usually get oily, which are my T-zone areas. For my foundations, I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundations, and this is in the shades Coco Medium and Coco Deep. I'm going to be mixing them two together. Coco Deep on its own is too dark for me and it's very grey. So I mix it with Coco Medium. Coco Medium on its own is a little light for me. My skin is doing all kinds of nonsense lately. So uh, plus I've run out of my stuff. I need to restock. I'm going to mix them both back of my hand and then just apply to these areas. Ooh. She blended out. Sometimes it tends to look like there was more medium than deep, so it tends to look I don't know if I'm even in in shot. Tends to look um light, but I would do a lot of like bronzing just to kind of bring back that brownness to my face. Okay, so we're gonna move on to my eyes. I'm just gonna apply more of that concealer that I used to shape my brow just to kind of mute out the dark, the discoloration on the top part of my brow. So this was the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Fawn. I'm just gonna go over that with my face powder just to kind of Set it so it doesn't look oily. Next, I'm applying my eye primer. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just going to then blend it out. Then taking the Makeup Addiction Flaming Low Palette, Flaming Love, yeah. And I'm taking the matte brown shade right here. This is going to be my transition shade. It's like a brownie orange, so it really shows up a lot on my skin tone. So if you're my skin tone, this is a really like the perfect transition shade. I think the camera cut off, I was literally applying this red base to my lid, but then it's kind of dry, so I don't know if it's even going to work. And then what I did was then to apply the brown shadow and use that as my crease colour. And then what I did was then to apply this burgundy red shade all over my lid. 
I'm just gonna pack that across my lid. So the next thing I do is to apply this gold shade and I'm just going to use a really tiny brush because I'm only really putting a little bit. I'm just going to put it in the center just like a little bit there. Spray this with some Fix Plus. Just place it just a tiny bit there on the lids. Don't really need too much, just a little bit just so it kind of shows up slightly and I'm going to let that dry because if I raise my eyelids a little bit too high it's going to transfer to my crease and we don't want that we want it to literally stay put on my lid and then for my inner corner my inner tear duct I'm going to be using these three shades to open up my eyes I'm not going to be doing um, my top liner but I will be doing a wing. For my lashes, I'm using these kind of like wispy looking lashes and they've been doubled. I think I got mine from like um, Depop or something. So I'm not quite sure what they're called. But I'll put the details in the description box if I can find them. apply that brown that we used in the beginning to my bottom lash line and then a little bit of that gold again to the center of my bottom lash line just a tiny bit so I started using the Maybelline fit me concealer again I'm not going to be using my LA Girl, but this is a really good starting point. So I'm going to apply this to both sides of my eye. It's a lot more watery than the LA Girl one, but it definitely blends well. I'm going to try a different powder today. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder for my under eye. Apply it to the sides. So now I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna use the Black Opal Foundation Stick. Also gonna do this to the jawline, which I kind of don't need to do, but I do it anyway, just to kind of give more of a balance. And then we're gonna set it with Max Swiss Chocolate Blush, which I use as a um, contour powder for my nose contour I'm using the covergirl bronzer in ebony bronze and then for my face powder I'm using the black opal powder deluxe powder in the shade deep my blush what I did was to mix these two together to apply to my cheeks and then I'm going to use this blush by sleek this is sunrise I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my cheeks it kind of adds a nice glow but it's not a complete highlight and then I'm gonna highlight I'm gonna be taking Becca's Topaz which is this shade and then Becca's Opal which is this shade I'm mixing the two together I'm 
And then a little bit of au pour on top. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the tip of my nose, don't forget that. And also my cupid's bow. I have to apply lots and lots of mascara to our bottom lashes because they also have long bottom lashes. Line my lips with the NYX lip pencil in Urban Cafe. I'm gonna use Americano by Ofra Cosmetics as my lip color. A tiny little bit of Manhattan, also by Ofra Cosmetics. And then a little gloss, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Praline, just in the centre. Then I'm going to part my hair in the middle. So if you have like, if you don't have a lace frontal, this might be difficult for you to do. But this is just the, this is just styling with a Frontal. You see, as this is a this isn't a full lace wig, you are not gonna have a parting going all the way back down. So if you have, if you have a problem with that, then you might not want to do this style. But if you don't have a problem with it, then go ahead and take three sections and just kind of braid, flip them underneath. And as I'm moving down, I'm taking another section I'm literally just adding more hair as I am braiding I'm going to add more hair as I'm going down now because I have a lot of hair it does get quite uh, quite thick as you go get to the bottom so I'm trying to make it look as neat as I can considering as it's quite a full wig I might have to redo this um, braid but I'm just gonna do it now just so that I can move on to the next one. <laughs> 